नानोमिक कंडक्टर फॉर नानोमिक कंडक्टर नानोमिक कंडक्टर दट इज पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस एंड द करंट द ग्राफ मे नॉट बी स्ट्रेट लाइन द ग्राफ इज कर then it is said to be non ohmic conductor what are the examples of ohmic conductor that is all the metals are ohmic conductors all the metals are ohmic conductors what are the examples of non ohmic conductors that is gases are non ohmic conductors liquids are non ohmic conductors right semiconductors are the non ohmic conductors and the thermistor is nonohmic conductor right now in the semiconductor we can discuss diode right we can discuss transistor therefore semiconductors and all the electronic devices are said to be nonohmic conductors now here in this case right what is the slope of va graph what is the slope of va graph generally in order to calculate the slope is defined as change in y coordinate by change in x coordinate now change in y coordinate is a delta i change in x coordinate is the delta v therefore it is the current equivalent it is the potential difference equivalent i by v i by e i by v from this one that is v is equals to i r i is equals to v by r now r is equals to what to say that is v by i r 1 by r is equals to what to say i by v now here in this case that is i by v is equals to what to say 1 by r now here the slope of va graph is the reciprocal of the resistance later we came to know that the reciprocal of the resistance is called what to say conductance conductance the reciprocal of the resistance is called conductance which will be discussed later now therefore depends upon the ohms law all the conductors are classified into two categories ohmic conductors and the non ohmic conductors the conductor which obey the ohms law is called ohmic conductor the conductor which does not obey the ohms law is called non ohmic conductor for ohmic conductor if you draw the graph between potential and current then you are going to get a straight line passing through the origin for non ohmic conductor the graph between potential and current potential and current is not at all straight line it may be curve now there are limitations of ohms law there are limitations of ohms law right what are the limitations of ohms law limitations of ohms law limitations of ohms law limitations of ohms law right first limitation at lower voltages only all the conductors obey the ohms law at lower voltages let us consider let us consider right v and i at the lower voltages at the lower voltages the graph is a straight line as you increase the voltage the graph may be slightly changes like this therefore what is the limitation of ohms law ohms law is valid for only lower voltages that means up to the lower voltages the graph is a straight line now beyond the certain limit of voltage as you increase the voltage there is a straight line violation that the straight line is going to be curved therefore at the lower voltage the ohms law is valid at the higher voltages that is ohms law is violated in that case we are not going to get a straight line it is going to get a slight curve next one second one <coughs> ohms law violation where the ohms law violation in the semiconductors that means in the diode the current and voltage characteristics depends upon the application of the voltage depends upon the symbols of the battery already 
diode. Diode may be forward biased. Diode may be reverse biased. Right? Suppose for the diode, for the diode, right, VI graph is there. This is the VI graph. That is, there is a positive voltage, there is a positive current. Whenever the diode is applied for positive voltage and the current is positive, then that is said to be forward bias. Whenever the diode is applied with a negative voltage, in that case, you are going to get, what to say, negative current. Therefore, negative voltage, negative current, it is called, what to say, reverse bias. In the forward bias, as the voltage is increased, that is, current is increased like this. In the reverse bias, as the voltage is increased, the current increases like this. Now, in this case, either in the forward bias or in the reverse bias, you are not going to get a straight line. Therefore, it is a non-linear conductor. Therefore, therefore, here in the limitations of Ohm's law, Ohm's law is not applicable for the diodes. Right? Here the current characteristics, here the current characteristics depends upon the application of the voltage symbols. Therefore, in the forward bias and reverse bias, voltage and current characteristics are like this. Therefore, in this case, that is Ohm's law is not violated. Ohm's law is violated. Next one, third one. Suppose in certain metals, in certain, that is gallium arsenic, gallium arsenic, it is alloy. It is a mixture of metals. It is a mixture of metals. In the mixture of metals, if I draw the graph, it, if I draw the graph, voltage and current. In these metals, gallium and arsenic, as the voltage is increased, then the current variations are like this. The current variations are like this. Now, the current variations are like this. At lower voltages, at the lower voltages, this is the straight line. This is the straight line. Now, as the voltage is increased, therefore, the there is a there is no linear relation between voltage and the current. Now, here this is called what to say, right? As the voltage is further increased, the current is decreased. The current is decreased. Therefore, this is called what to say, linear relation. Now, this is called what to say, non-linear relation. Now, here in this also, non-linear relation. Here, in this region, there is a linear relation between voltage and current. In this case, non-linear relation. Here is also, that is, there is a non linear relation here in this case non linear relation with a positive slope right here non linear relation with the negative slope negative slope means here the voltage is increased instead of increasing the current the current is decreased that's why we can say the negative slope therefore in all cases ohm's law is not valid in a right in certain cases ohm's law is violated Ohm's law is violated means Ohm's law has certain limitations. That is, there are certain limitations in a different conditions. Now, for example, in the case of conductor, at the lower voltages only, there is a linear relation between linear relationship between voltage and current. If the voltage is further increased, then the graph between voltage and current is not a straight line, is not a linear, it may be curved. Now means non-linear. Now the diode in the case of diode, the voltage and current relationship depends upon the biasing of voltage. The terminals of battery, sometimes the battery terminals are changed. Right? Now that positive voltage is given, that is forward bias, negative voltage is given in the reverse bias. In this case, in the forward bias, as the voltage is increased, current is increased in a non-linear relation. In the reverse bias, as the voltage is increased, negative voltage is increased, the current is increased in a non-linearly. Now there are certain metals. There are certain mixture of metals in the alloy, gallium and arsenic. Therefore, the VI graph, the VI graph is like this. The VI graph is like this. In a certain region, 
the relation between v and i is linear in this region in this region the vi vi graph is non linear in this region the vi graph is non linear in the second region the vi graph is non linear with a positive so slope in the third region in the third region vi graph is non linear with a negative slope therefore these are the, these are the examples where the ohms law is violated